So you've started off learning with a beginner saxophone, but now you're ready to upgrade to something a little bit more professional, you're ready to treat yourself to a new saxophone, but is this the right time to be doing it, and what should you be looking to upgrade to anyway? Well, stick around because we're going to be talking about that in the video today. <laughs> Well, g'day guys, Nigel McGill here from Sax School. Great to have you on the video today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification um, button too so you get notified when I put another video out because I don't want you to miss out on anything that I'm putting up here for you because these videos are all designed to help you learn and improve and develop your saxophone skills and stay inspired as well. Now, the session today is actually from a Q&A session that we filmed, the team and I filmed for SAC School uh, in September, and it was a question actually that one of our members had submitted about how to upgrade their saxophone and what the best way was to go about doing it. And by the way, if you don't know about SAC School, well, that's what I do. I run SAC School, which is a huge online community with thousands of learners from all around the world that use our library of lessons every single day to improve. There's hundreds and hundreds of lessons and dozens of step-by-step -step courses on everything from sort of getting started right through to advanced improvising and learning the blues and pop sax and all sorts of stuff. I'll put a link up below or, or down below, uh, up above or down below, up above, down below, up there or down there if you want to find out a bit more about sax school. Okay, let's get stuck into this session. So this is from a Q&A session and uh, let's find out a little bit more about when we should be upgrading our saxophone. Well, welcome to our September Q&A, you got the whole team here. How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah not bad, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like doing these uh, Q&A sessions, they're fun, aren't they? Yeah, good fun, yeah. Yep. Brilliant. Plus, it's a good chance for us to drink coffee and check out my new Sax School <laughs> mug. Yes, <laughs> limited edition. Okay, Mitch says, uh, he's asking about upgrading. He says, how do you know when it's time to upgrade to a better model sax? I bought a Thurman Star Tone. Oh, uh, from Thurman. Three months ago. Okay, yep. And I'm really happy with it, but I feel I'm making good progress good to hear and playing the, like, the sax live at gigs and being paid that's awesome that is brilliant that's really yeah. awesome yeah uh, i can't help wondering what a better sax would bring to the table as far as improving my playing goes and i could afford a professional model would that be better than an intermediate model yeah it's a good question isn't it um well first of all mitch awesome that you're out doing gigs and getting paid absolute yeah. bonus um mm. And I think this is a brilliant question because a lot of us start on a more affordable saxophone. So Toman, big um, retailer like sax.co.uk or in the States you've got Woodwind and Band, all these companies now tend to do their own brand of uh, saxophone. So I'm guessing the one that you're starting on is like a generic Chinese saxophone, nothing wrong with that. Um, the question about whether to upgrade or not, it's mm. a good one. Right, so here's the thing, first of all, um, the thing that makes the biggest impact to your playing is your mouthpiece. And I remember when we did a session with Theo Wane, he was talking about this. And it's a great point because he, he was saying that when you're blowing into saxophone, the first thing you blow into is the mouthpiece, right? So that's the bit that has the biggest impact on all the rest of the sound of your saxophone. So upgrading your mouthpiece is probably the very first thing to think about. Also, upgrading your mouthpiece is a lot cheaper than changing your whole saxophone. That being said, this is all on a proviso that your saxophone is actually in good mechanical order, right? So there are, I don't know, I've not never played a Toman star tone. It's probably a great saxophone, but there are some student instruments that don't perform as well as others. So provided that your saxophone's working great now, then changing the mouthpiece is the first thing to do. Beyond that, then upgrading your saxophone to the best one that you can afford is a great idea. Because what it's gonna give you is a few things. It's gonna give you um, a better, more consistent sound, better intonation, wouldn't you say, Chris? Yeah, definitely, yeah. In fact, because you you changed your saxophone, I remember, what, you've got a Cannonball, have you got a... I've got a Yamaha, I think it's a, similar to yours, maybe slightly slightly older. Yeah, one. Alto, or yeah, Alto, yeah, yeah, the Alto 60, one. 62. Yes, yeah. Well, Did you 62. used to have a Cannonball, I can't remember. I used to have a, a, a Matt Black Trevor James. Oh, Trevor James, yeah. yeah. Well, that, so that's great, because the, the Trevor James one, the one you had was like a student... It was, yeah. A student level, and then you upgrade to a professional horn, so... Um, there's a, there's a couple things there. So yeah, you're going to get a better built saxophone, and from the, the sort of the technical aspects of uh, what they actually do in the factories, I've talked to instrument manufacturers about this. They can they can assemble a student instrument in like really no time at all, like an hour. Whereas a professional, it's serious, but a professional horn does take a lot longer to build. They put a lot more work into it, and the quality of the materials is generally better, and the design is generally better too. So you're going to get something that's 
it's going to play better, it's going to last longer, uh, and it's going to sound better and, you know, give you more options in terms of sound. Um, but uh, the other thing to think about is that upgrading to a Pro Horn is expensive, but you don't always need to get a new one. So getting a second hand sax is absolutely fine too. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you say? Did yeah, you buy, definitely. did you get your like advanced uh, alto new no. or yeah, second hand? My alto was second hand. Um, I think my tenor was new, but it was only because I think I tried about five different ones in one of the shops I went to. Um, and it just happened it happened to be the right one, but there were a couple of really good options that were second hand yeah. um, And often they just have little quirks that you wouldn't get in new instruments as well that that you that might be suitable to your play style So it's worth looking at second hand ones definitely Yeah, and I think if you talk to a good repairer, they'll always say to you that basically any saxophone Unless it's been run over by a truck is fixable so that it will play great because it is a piece of metal and it's a mechanism right so as long as you've got a good repairer that can check it out and it's in basically good condition, uh, any little niggles can be fixed. But it can mean that you can get a saxophone that might be £6,000 new for £3,000 or a £3,000 saxophone for, you know, £1,800 or something. So uh, it's worth considering. I bought that tenor new, but I've had it for like 25 years. I bought my alto new, but I've had that for like 30 years. But my Barry sax, which is from the early 70s, I think, I didn't buy that new. I bought that second hand. And it's a great saxophone. So yeah, so I hope, do you think that's, do you think we've covered enough stuff there? Just a couple of things actually. First one I would say is if you go on sax.co.uk blog, they have some really good information about what difference does it make for, you know, the lacquer or the metal or whatever. So it helps you to see, you know, if I upgrade, what am I getting for my money, which is useful information. And it's kind of set out as you know, what you might want to know if you were thinking about buying a sax. And the other um, thing that I know that a lot of our members have said is, go along and just try a bunch of saxophones. Similarly with this mouthpiece issue, if, you, if you're if you somewhere where you can get to a saxophone store, just go and try some out and don't feel like you've got to buy it today, but try some out because then you'll get an idea what difference that upgrade would make to your sound. Yeah, absolutely. great advice that, Claire. And uh, you know, most good music shops are happy for you to spend an hour there trying saxophones out. They really genuinely are. Uh, because that's that's the way that they sell saxophones, and it's the only way that you can really try things out yourself. Don't forget to take your old saxophone along with you too, so you can compare the two, and even take your old mouthpiece along, you know? But um, yeah, if you don't live in London, for example, but you're living in England, and you know, taking a, a day trip to London to go and try saxophones at sax.co.uk is amazing, because they've got like 100 saxophones for you to try, and they're really nice guys. Or up here, there's, there's shops up here, isn't there? There's a great the Woodward yeah, Exchange uh, in Bradford. Uh, or um, Yeah, so take the opportunity to do that. So, yeah, I reckon Mitch, you should go for a treat yourself. <laughs> hey, so I hope you found that helpful, and if you did, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know if you're upgrading your saxophone, or if you've got any other thoughts that you can add to this discussion, because it's a great topic that we all need to find out a bit more about, I think. Um, so, don't forget, if you're new here, click the subscribe button and click that bell notification. I don't want you to miss any future videos. And also, make sure you dig around and explore the other videos on my channel here, because there's a ton of stuff that will help you to develop your skills and basically stay inspired and keep your playing moving forward. And that's going to help you to become a better saxophone player and hopefully help you to enjoy saxophone playing as well. Okay, have some fun, keep practicing hard, and I'll catch you on the next video.